Thank back. you. <laughs> we're back. Okay, so we're on our third, third. movie, and that movie's my movie, and it's um, Amistad. Assume that the charge is murder. We do hereby claim salvage on the high seas of the Spanish ship La Amistad and all her cargo. Your Honor, here are the true owners of these slaves. These slaves, Your Honor, are by rights the property of Spain. You and this young so called lawyer have proven you know what they are. They're Africans. Congratulations. What you don't know is who they are. This could take us all one long step closer to civil war. Immediately surrender! These goods! Our president has appealed the decision to our Supreme Court. Bring the lobby! Yeah, you get it! You want to talk about We have to try the case again. I will call into the past and beg my ancestors to come and help me, for at this moment I am the whole reason they have existed at all. This is the most important case ever come before this court, because what it in fact concerns is freedom, the very nature of man. And the proof is the length to which a man will go to regain it once taken. He will break loose his chains. He will decimate his enemies. He will try and try and try against all odds, against all prejudices. To get home. Now, I really think Amistad got a bad shift. It was like, it was uh, uh, it's Steven Spielberg, but People really didn't like the movie. I'm not really sure why they didn't like the movie. I even read Roger Ebert, and he didn't like the movie. Yeah, he liked it. He, I mean, he does a great analysis, but, but on the top of it, he didn't quite like. Like he was comparing it to Schindler's List and um, uh, a, a, a Color Purple, and he was saying it didn't. It, um, have the same emotional impact that oh, those movies had. I disagree. And, Me too. And you, I, I, did you say you disagree? I disagree. I, yeah, I disagree, I disagree mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, it, 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 it's a different movie. It, yeah. it, 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 it's not about, so it was a director, obviously, Steven Spielberg, and I think this is one of his best movies. It just really didn't get the attention I think it should have had. And written by David H. Franzoni. He actually wrote uh, Saving Private Ryan. He wrote Love so many movie. things. Oh. Right? So the characters in this are that the major characters are the, the, the character of Sinke is uh, Jimon Hansu. Uh, Matthew McConaughey plays Roger Baldwin, their lawyer. And Anthony Hopkins plays John Quincy Adams, who becomes their lawyer for when they're going before the Supreme Court. And Morgan Freeman plays Theodore Jodson, and Nigel Hawthorne plays Martin Van Buren, who was the president. Okay, so um, I don't you think it's amazing? This is an amazing story. What's the story? Tell us the story. <laughs> <laughs> this is based on a true story. Events that happened in 1839. On the coast of Cuba, on the ship Amistad, a group of Mende tribesmen whom, whom had been captured by the slave traders, right? Sinke, uh, Jimon Hansun, one of the kidnapped Africans, manages to free himself and then free everybody else. They take over the ship and um, want to go back home. They keep two of the, um, the slavers 
and but the slavers kind of tricked them and they they want to go back to Africa where they're from and they take them to basically around Long Island, New York at that time, right? That that's where they're from. Okay, so um let's see. They're immediately charged with murder, mutiny and murder. And but they don't really understand anything they don't understand where they are they don't understand the language and or the culture um, uh, anything oh, yeah. nothing yeah. Yeah. They, they right um they're in a legal battle that ultimately takes them to the supreme court and i want to know is why don't i know that history i think that's the most amazing as, as a person who writes myself if i heard this story i'd be i have to write about it it's like, I cannot believe this is a story in history that I've never heard about, and it's great. Right. And so in Steven Spielberg's usual way, he, because I, what I love about Schindler's List is he picks a Nazi as the kind of hero of the story. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, he kind of takes a weird twist on things that I really like, but um, it's... That the histo okay, how do good people? This is the story. How do good per people work within a corrupt and evil system, which is kind of a dilemma we have always, always. now. Yeah, it's like how how do we function? And that's basically the story. It was like it is so amazing that I really think you should watch this. I I, I liked it for a lot of reasons because. I'm kind of androidish, and what I mean is like what I liked about it is like Matthew McConaughey is this kind of a real estate lawyer, and he is looking at it as totally a property case. Like uh, it's kind of like they are not the the murder part doesn't even come into it because it's like no they were kidnapped they are not property and therefore they were allowed to defend themselves and slavery was illegal at that time it was slavery but not not really it's like kind of now by law though yeah so, it was so it, they go through it through a lawyer you law way you couldn't go to africa bring slaves but if you were born into slavery yeah, they then, have different and, and, rules. Yeah, right. way, yeah, the, you was, could still in the be South, slave, and all yeah. those children would still be these, your slaves. But yeah, they they went through it. They have these, from a legal, total legal aspect, they which do. is interesting. Yes, you know. That, yes, but it was a total legal aspect. It's not it like is. that. That's why I. That's why Robert e, Roger Ebert did not like it. <laughs> he thought it last lacked emotional impact. But I have to tell you that. Um, Jamon Hansu, oh my God, his, like you said, he is physically so intense. He can't speak English, he can't speak, right? And he, his presence is so there. I mean, right. it's like he is totally dominates he, he every has, scene that he's he has, in. He has gravitas. <laughs> Absolutely. But I don't think he ever had a role like this. No. This, no, no, it, no, this is the role of a lifetime, and he pulled it off. Matthew McConaughey, the character he plays, is fantastic. And I kind of relate with him because he's so analytical. It's like he, he is looking at them totally as a property case. And then, as the movie, also because okay, <clears throat> the, the the because there's different parties who come up and say these slaves belong to us, and there's the parties. Oh yes, the there's all these people representing the uh, the, the queen Spain, of Spain, who's, you know, who's 11. like an eleven year old. <laughs> the, yeah. There's uh, <laughs> the Cubans who's saying they're supposed to go to Cuba. The two guys. There's another ones too. I mean, there's a different party saying so they're treating them like property. So he goes, "This is a a, a case of property law." So yes. if they're going to treat them a property, we're going to have to the approach them from that point of view. You know? Yes. But at the end, he he kind of comes around. It's like he 
he grows. He grows as the uh, thing goes. But I I really liked him as the lawyer. I thought he, he was He plays really lawyers great. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's like, yeah, because he's good at yeah. it. But when he showed up in that Lincoln, oh, no, that's a... Lincoln lawyer. Lincoln lawyer. Right. But <laughs> also, uh, the Lincoln country. The gift, you know? uh, Anthony Hopkins <laughs> plays John Quincy Adams. And did you know that John Quincy Adams defended th- these um, Mendes tribe men? In the Supreme Court, did you know that? No. And did you know, and that's another thing, that seven of the nine Supreme Court justices were slave owners. So, I mean, it was like unbelievable. Yeah. Also, his speech was shortened. It was longer in real life. It was much longer in real life. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Uh, but, but I loved his speech. The speech was amazing. Anyway, so... Uh, it really is something I think you should see just because uh, it's like one of those stories that's kind of not taught in history that's an amazing story. Yeah. You know, and, and, and also there's a, you know, um, a, a, a John Quincy Adams, who is Anthony Hopkins, right. has a garden. He has like a greenhouse. And in the garden... He has an African violet. And when there's a scene when uh, Sinke sees that he recognizes it right away. And he, he takes it off and all these flashbacks come with his wife. He has three children. The guy's a real guy. I mean, I look to see what happened to him after. But- and he, he just gets so homesick. That that's kind of like his, yeah. It's just an amazing movie, and I think you like it. Go ahead. Me? <laughs> yeah, you know I, I, yeah, I, 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 I love this movie. I love this movie. I, just, I remember when I saw it. We saw it in the theater too. Back then. The one thing I like about, uh, to me, the movie is it is about legal case. I mean, it's around slavery and yes. you know that, but it's it's not in order. It's a movie. It's right. a, it's a, uh, a court case. The, yes. One thing I like about Spielberg too, like that he. He gives you all sides. He doesn't make it just these guys are bad and these guys are good. He makes it these guys are kind of good and bad, and these guys are kind of good and bad too. <laughs> but two two yeah. examples are that the, the, one of the guys representing the slaves, or uh, he is willing to have them be killed for. Uh, uh, oh yeah, the, one of the good guys. Yeah, it's actually and a he's friend representing of, them because he will pick up the case. It's a, the abolitionists. Yeah, the, the abolitionists abolitionist. because they'll become a martyrs. So what he says, like, wait a minute, you're about to you know, kill the same he guy. Says that, he says that to Morgan Freeman, the character yeah, Theodore and Johnson. Scene. And he also and he also shows that the the tribe, the Mende, they get captured by other tribesmen, African tribesmen, and, and to be thrown into slavery. So they were even their own people were throwing them into slavery because of you no know, rival tribes and everything. So this it's, it's very great. It's a very great thing. It's yeah. complicated. There's no just you guys only you guys do this and you guys do that. No. It, it, there's everybody's involved, good and bad. Yeah. So it's very great. So, he, but Spielberg, like color purple, he talks about slavery, but uh, or, or you know, racism, but the movies are really about uh, uh, misogyny. Ma- misogyny, men yeah. and women, yeah. and he's doing it through a uh, mm-hmm. through slaves. So he's really good at doing that. There's so no slave. They were oh, slaves. Oh, no, not slaves. Well, you know, through, through the... Sidney uh, <laughs> was a slave in every other way, except yeah, name. Right, yeah, yeah. And you know, Debbie Allen is the one that... In, yeah. The, the reason why the movie was made, she's the one that read the... She's one of the producers. The books, and she Wait, went to... Which... Debbie Allen. She, 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 which she, movie? She came on the book. I know who she is, but which movie? This movie. I'm I'm a oh. She went to HBO, and they said, we'll make it into a film. Then they went to DreamWorks. Ah. And Spielberg uh, had just done Jurassic World. And he wanted to do something a little more substantial, so he said, I'll direct it. Also, because he's DreamWorks. And uh, so the Jurassic World, he did this, and then he wasn't there much for the post production of it because he was already working on Saving Private Ryan. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I have to say, though, like, yeah. So is that it? Sure. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, Got anything? No, tidbits for me? You know, no, I, I actually, even though I'm not a religious <clears> person, <throat> I, I thought that scene with the, where he's talking about the Bible and. It's just all the cultures. You know, look at it. They have their own person that has suffered yeah. and everything. He does that really well, really powerful, Spielberg. And uh, and there's a couple of, yeah, there's a couple of scenes. I was going to say something about Morgan Freeman too, but now it's <laughs> never combined. But there's a, lot of very, very, there's a lot of very powerful scenes that Spielberg can just get you. You're like, yeah. 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 
Anyways, well, yeah. But, but I, I, I agree with you. And I liked your uh, saying that, you know, like the, ti- the Titanic is the... It, and the, the this backdrop. sounds bad, but the Titanic is the backdrop of love the love story. story. In a sense, the slavery is a backdrop of this of legal case. case. Legal right. I think he's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Good, yeah. And what do you think? Again, um, <laughs> well, well, two stories I love. Um, Spielberg, the cast, again, great people yeah, amazing right. freaking people yeah um yeah it, it, it's it's judicial law you know what i mean that that's really what the movie is about but it, it is yeah i can't it is about pain it's about anguish it's about memories it's about the times we're in right now still dealing with this um having to deal with it Yes, and, and and the lawyer, um, like when you McConaughey. said you know, uh, McConaughey, ja, uh, being a property lawyer, Roger Wald- Baldwin is, um, thank you, <laughs> Roger Baldwin is um, everything is precise. You know, right. oh, your grass can't be more than two inches, or your this can't be that. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, no, that tree's not on your property. It's kitty corner. T- you know, like everything is analytical Legal and precise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, with property and mm-hmm. and what is and what can't be. So it's actually. It's so perfect. It takes away. It, it helps you deal with the the story, which is really of, of awful. humans. Yes, um, it helps you. Um, well, it helped them too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? um, yeah. Like I don't know why why this shit is not. I don't know why America's what? got so much history. With so why not, many why different isn't the good flavors. Stuff? Why don't we know the good stuff? Where is yeah. all this stuff? <laughs> why, where well, I, know, gets... I, I know there's world history. Like right. there, you, there's American history. Then there's like you could take world history. Right. Um, but still, ancient history. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> but still, this stuff should be taught in schools. I I can't believe that it wasn't. Crazy. But you know, as they're tearing down all the statues, changing <laughs> everybody's name, so it's totally homogenized. <laughs> You need the bad stuff in a statue so you know, okay, that's something bad that we've done. I agree we with you. We need to learn from that. I mean, it is getting ridiculous. The thing is, uh, the thing that Sean's saying is that it's, the statues might be there, but it's, stuff is not really thought so taught. So people are like, who's that? <laughs> who's that guy? And yeah. Now they'll never know that <laughs> bad or good because it, they're not, they're taking everything down. Okay. I, I hate that, but I like what okay. you said about, uh, the technicality of the law, because that's what makes it so understandable. That's what they did really well here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so I loved th- it. I loved it. So what do you think, Pat? When I first saw this movie, I did not like it. And I know. I, in fact, I remember. I, I remember thinking, oh, we've got to do this horrible movie. I hate it. <laughs> because I found it very boring for the first 20 minutes. And... How could that be boring, Patty? Okay, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, thought so. They should have done... See you, you, you hear the the Mendez language, the Mendez language, but they never said in English what it was. So I have mm. no idea what they're saying. Yeah. So how can I relate to anybody if I would have a clue what they're saying? But also, but later on, then they do. Then it got interesting. I think. Oh, not to interrupt. Uh, the part of the but part of the movie is that we we don't know where they're from, and not knowing the language is also part of it. So we're kind of seeing it through their eyes. Yeah, seeing it through their eyes. Like they don't, they don't understand English. They don't understand yeah, anything that's so happening. Speaking, when they're speaking, we do not. We're trying to figure out where they're coming from. Where, what where, the hell's going on? Where Where are they from? Where are they from here? Well, are they from there? Yeah, but we're not seeing it from their point of view. If but, that would have been once, great, you know, that would have been great. But if they'd like, done once that. we find out where they're from, then we understand them. When, when well, you speak, understood where Mendez is. I know nothing about Mendez tribe. But they, they, we get to see the subtitles about what they're saying. But then it, it got there. personal. Mm-hmm. Then, then you could mm-hmm. relate. But no, if they had done it that way, where even without having any subtitles saying what they're saying, mm-hmm. I, I could, I, I totally, to me, was just a black and white. I don't mean color thing. I mean black yeah. and white. Yeah. Like yeah. what? The, what the hell? Okay, well, they're doing this. They're doing I think this. It was on per- Like I think. It, it, well, obviously, it was well, on it was bad. Or, or, or it would have been changed by <laughs> it now. Didn't work for but that. I yeah. really think that that it 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 is. T- it is to do just that, is to fuck with our heads. 
Like, what the hell is going on? Am I in a foreign film? Like, what is this? What's See, I going didn't get on? that at all. I knew what was going on. You know it's slavery. You know it's you know it's <laughs> some white guy from America t- bringing them over. But you but don't. It wasn't no, a white Sp- guy. Spaniards. It, it was, was Spaniards. Spanish. What I'm and saying. That's the thing about the movie. It shows you that everybody's involved in this stuff. You know, this this guy's were Cubans because so it's great. It's Spain. It's great. Like, it's, it's, it's just everybody's. In. That's to say it's great because it's great. I think we're. Like Matthew McConaughey, he he's trying to figure out their language, trying to figure out where they're from. So we we want to feel his confusion. Too. Just just out of I wasn't even at that part yet. I'm talking about the first 15 minutes where they're not even at the port yet. It wasn't until I could I could know I could understand what the s- slaves I'm quoting here slaves were saying. Did I get any kind of interest in what was going on mm-hmm. except that? People are hurting people, right? And then you really get caught up in it. But until then, I got to say, thank God I watched it 25 minutes, and I thought, oh, God, it's going to be the same thing. And then it got really interesting, one, because I'm like you. Yeah, the court True story, case. I love it. And the court case, because I love court, I love law, yeah. and because they did approach it like property. because Even though it's not about property, but that's the way they had to go in to win it. Yes. So, yeah. That's what else the way did he, I put? And I actually really thought the lawyer's argument was really great because they were like, murder, mutiny. He's like, no, this is not a murder, mutiny <laughs> case. This is a property case. And it was like, that's kind of cold-blooded, but... It, that's the law. Was, but, <laughs> but I thought he was kind of a brilliant lawyer for yeah. going past all that. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. and just going, and it became nothing about murder and mutiny. It became about property. And the other thing I was going to say, <clears throat> Stephen Spiegel, Spiegel, <laughs> Spiegel, <laughs> precious. No, Stephen, what's his name? Spielberg. Spielberg. <laughs> when they uh, do uh, flashbacks, and you see how horribly, I mean. Most of these people had never been in a boat. I mean, I've been in a boat, and I can't even imagine being on those seas at the bottom. I mean, just the terror. How about when they threw those people, people over they were running food? The yeah. They were the running out of food. They were running out of food. So that. they just threw I, over They really the depicted people. desperation well. I thought he, <clears> and he has a way of doing that by uh, how he shades everything. Uh, just the angle, the camera angles. He does that incredibly well. And I thought it was incredibly personal. Once I could understand what they were saying. It was, but it was almost like the slavers were totally impersonal. Because they didn't they, think they, those they people. They did not, yes. But, but, but would you treat a dog like that or a cat? No. But, it's, it's but, but people that, who treat the uh, that people deal with do farm that, animals so are a scary. lot of people yeah, talk I know, about yeah. factory farming. Oh, yeah. That sort those of thing. Those are those people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where do you get a good slaver? Farm factories, because that is exactly that kind of mentality. Yes, it's exactly that it, it's mentality. It's totally a human. Another interesting point that actually the place where the Mendes tribe is is from with the place now called Sierra Le- Leone. Right. That's kind of where they were from, those guys. And actually in real life, a lot of the people could not even understand each other. A lot of the people <laughs> that the Africans could not understand each other because they were from like different, different tribes. Yeah. But there was a lot of Mendes there. Yep. Right, so there was a. It's just really interesting, and no. once and when I saw it the first time, it made very interesting. Made me interested in that character Sinke. I wanted to see what happened to him. What did he do? Did he go back? Which he did. Um, what happened to him? And it, he kind of, he kind of goes back into uh, whatever he went back to. It, it, it's like he doesn't. He's no longer in history. He's he's in. Um, so I yeah, I, I just thought he was a pretty interesting character. Wasn't the, the guy the translator? I think you seen the guy from uh, Twelve Years a Slave. Yeah, the, the, that's the, the guy. Yeah. Yeah. The tra- yeah, I just thought that was so good too. The way that um, the, way they found <clears throat> the way they found him, they they learned certain words from the um, that their language. And they just went around areas where there were a lot of uh, uh, black people. And they just started talking like like numbers, like yeah. one, two, three, four, but in that language, right? And they started, and, and you know, somebody, everybody would somebody look responds. at them like, what, what, what? Somebody finally was like, what? And, and he, became, talking. And he, <laughs> became, and he became the translator. 
Yeah. You know, so out. that was great. <laughs> I mean, I thought so, that actually, even though Matthew McConaughey's character got slammed, I just I thought he was sorry. actually a very good lawyer. Well, when you see all the other lawyer movies, he kind of plays the same kind of lawyer in all of them. I hate to say, but it's true. <laughs> but I like him. I, I like him in that kind of part. But he always plays that intense. The, the passion. The passion. Well, no, he, he isn't. That's why I like him. He's kind of practical. He kind of does the practical things that you need oh, to do. Oh, he's very passionate in this movie because it well, just exudes from him. Only later, in the well, beginning. Yeah. No. But I mean, in all the lawyer movies, and he plays a lot of lawyers. But I think this was probably one of his first because he's really young in this. So uh, did we give this a number? Patty, what's your number? Uh, I'd give it a, movie? A, an eight. Oh, a ten. I'll give it a ten. Please. Ten. <laughs> hey, you got to watch the thing. <laughs> yeah, watch it for sure. We're back. We're back. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom and pour myself.